Y'all ready? This doesn't feel right. Who thought of this idea, <laughs> man? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Spin the water up. Oh, hold on, the water's getting higher. My Stop! Might be the big one. Back up, back up. Oh, oh, for 15 years, we've rushed to the rescue of people in need. Hey, hey. Stay away. I'm Dan Flynn. And I'm Titus Tiro. As EMTs, 10 foot bits in contact. We've handled everything that New Orleans can throw at us. Don't let go. But there's a giant network of specialized units Relay. who run into life threatening situations that most EMTs never face. We're traveling the country. Uh oh. Where are we going next? And rolling up our sleeves. Bring the water out. Ah! To prepare as they do. Let's go. Oh, God. And shine a light on the heroic action of America's most elite first responders. We're here in Austin, Texas. We got a call from Dave Heinz from Austin Travis County EMS. He said he wanted to show us the work that they do as first responders. But we have no idea what we're getting into today. This is so different from New Orleans, man. I can't wait. When I think of Texas, I think of like dry, flat, desert type, you know, with the what those little things that, that flew in. Tumbleweeds. Tumbleweeds. That's what I think of Texas. I don't see nobody, but this is where he said to meet. When we pull up and I see a lake, I'm thinking, oh, Lord, we're not on Bourbon Street anymore. All right, what are we doing? Dude. Oh, my God. All right, so it is a boat. That's pretty badass. Oh, now, this is some entrance right here, huh? How's it going? So these dudes show up on these badass Zodiacs. To be honest, being on the water was the last thing I expected to be doing in Texas. Austin, Texas, it floods here a lot. And when it floods, it floods really, really fast. We elected to do a swift water scenario with Dan and Titus because it's something that we do frequently. You ready to get wet? We all gonna do it today. So let's go get you guys dressed up. So clearly, we're not dressed for a water rescue scenario. Let's take your shoes off, step into the suit. All right. Lucky for us, our host came prepared with dry suits, and they look pretty cool. So why does it have to be so tight? I feel like it's cutting my circulation. In an actual flood event, we're keeping the contamination away from your skin. Uh, that makes sense. Oh, God. That gear is made for skinny people. I just keep it 100. My ass was like, are you crazy? His does look like 10 pounds of sausage in a five-pound <laughs> case. You reach it OK? Dan got into his suit before me, because Dan wears skinny jeans. So he was used to putting some skinny on his thigh. These <laughs> jeans are actually not jeans at all. They're actually stretchy, kind of like dude yoga pants, just for the record. Dude. You ever seen that? You should have never told me that, man. <laughs> oh. Y'all ready? Yeah, we're ready, ready. Man. All right, let's do this. We'll get y'all in this boat. Yep. <laughs> Very graceful. My first impression of this boat, fast, powerful, fun. But this right here is a highly specialized piece of equipment. This is a Zodiac 420. It gives us the ability to get in and out of really tight places. Right. Trees, cars, fences to get to where they're at. With us being right in the middle of Flash Flood Alley, if someone's in need, we're going to do everything we can to get to them. We know firsthand floods can get nasty. We lived through Katrina. 2015 through 2017 were America's worst years for flood deaths, 418 in total. So the need for specialized rescue units is serious. Oh, we've had a number of really bad flooding events in Austin over the past few years. Uh, probably one of our bigger ones was the 2013 Halloween floods. It was a World War II veteran who was uh, trapped in his house. I drove the boat. We couldn't see anything. The rain was coming down so hard. We were able to secure the boat to the front porch. Sure enough, the guy's inside. He's yelling for help. He's, he can't get the door open because the pressure of the water was so great. We were able to open up the door, dove after him to grab him because the water was rushing through the house so badly. We got him in the boat. We were able to get pushed off. My engine goes out. And I'm a veteran. I've been deployed a number of times. I can honestly say it was probably the scariest moment of my life. I can't imagine, man. Fortunately, we were able to get the boat motor started back up. Good. We got him to the hospital. So the, the veteran, the patient, I mean, he survived, right. right? He did survive. Of course survived. he did. Actually, I gave him a boost. Yeah, thank you for your service, too. 
you know, you hear a lot of these stories on the news about the floods, but you don't hear a lot from the first responders themselves. And that's what we want to do. We want to share their stories with the world. Do you see the snake yet? in the water right there? Nah, I'm just full <laughs> Titus, you left your car over here? Yo, what's up with this car, man? Guys, this is where it gets real. I'm not an idiot. Flash flood alley, car in the water. They got the fire department out here with their heavy duty hoses. Something big is about to happen. Here in Austin, we have a lot of problems with low water crossings and swift water rescues. Right. And if your car goes off the road, who's gonna come get you? We are. We're gonna show y'all how to rescue in that environment. Titus and I, we were pretty excited to kind of get our hands dirty. We got all of these great guys around us. I mean, I, I felt like things were just gonna go pretty smoothly. Who's gonna be the victim? There you go, right there. Wait, so what does that mean? Who, who... So that means Titus gets to be the victim, because he won. <laughs> we're going to put you in the car, and you're just driving along, and then, oh, what, what happened? My car's flooded. OK. I can't go anywhere. What am I going to do? Right. You're going to sit tight, we're going to come get you. You know what? I'm with you. I heard Dave say that, but I wasn't really listening. Like, you know what I mean? He said, Titus, you're going to be in the car, but it really didn't compute in my mind. Do you want me to sit? Oh, yeah. Right. You're going for a ride. This is your car now. Get in there. You have to lower your head just a little bit. This doesn't feel right. Some told me that I was going to be intimate with that car for some reason, but I just didn't know how intimate I was going to be with it. All right, you good? Who thought of this He's idea, man? He's in the scrubsy. All right. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Spin the water up. Oh, Make no mistake, we put Dan and Titus into a major league scenario. We had to use the prop because otherwise there's not swift water moving. Hold up, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm always playing, you know, the rescue. That was the first time I actually felt what the victim be feeling. I can't catch my breath. I got swatter in my face. I'm, I'm thinking about my wife, my son. I'm actually feeling that, like, oh, this is it. My Man, I freaked out. I bounced. I am not getting back to that ever. You all right? Take a breath. As his partner, I wanted to clown him for getting out the car. You know, as his friend, I could tell he was legitimately panicked. So it's scary. Yeah. It's scary. One of the things that's hardest to get across to our guys is to not panic, to uh, be calm. If I go in with you the next time, will you go back in? That would be a negative ghost rider. Jesus Christ himself could be sitting in that uh, <laughs> panty seat. <laughs> I am not getting back in that well, car. Well, that's easy. I'll get in the car. You All right, rest. Then. we do that. How about that? All right. Hey. Uh -huh. Easy. There we go. All right. We came all the way out here to Austin to be a part of this water rescue scenario. So if I got to take one for the team, that's what I'm going to do. I see why he freaked out. I'm already freaking out. Roll it. We're going to do a wedge formation. Bob's gonna be in your right ear. Right. Finch is gonna be in your left ear. Their job is gonna be to pull you down. Walk it back, nice and easy, Titus. Here's how the wedge formation works. We have one guy at the front, and we make a wedge behind him. It's sort of like a stack of bowling pins. That breaks up the water, and it makes the water behind the wedge calmer. And that makes it safer for us to do our jobs. All right, Titus. All right, you're doing good. But as we're moving closer to the car, I'm at the front of the west, getting slapped in the face with something like 200 PSI. It ain't fun. It's actually scary. But then again, so is actually being in a flash flood. Beautiful. The water's rushing my face, but your job is to save someone's life, and your job is to protect your teammates. You have to put that fear to the side. Titus, get low. Yes. 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 There you go. You got it. Go. Drop your head. Perfect. Hey, we got you, man. Being in the car made me understand why Titus bailed out. That's a very scary and surreal experience. When they got to the side of the car, it was almost like that feeling of, like, relief. Go to a half. I know. You're good. You're good. 
It was amazing how focused they can be in that environment. They pulled me out into the middle of that V pattern, and it was like I was standing in a swimming pool. There really was no pressure. It worked exactly like they said it was going to work. Yeah. You're a rescuer now, man. That was one of the most frightening experiences I ever had. But it made me look at first response an entire different way. Yeah. And like it was, it was I, I felt like one. Like, you know what I mean? He he was letting me know what was going on in the back. I just felt like one group. And that's what we do here. We work as a team. Bad respect for everything you guys right. do. It's hard, man. <laughs> this is a special department in a special area. And these guys are doing unbelievable stuff, you know, and my, my hat's off to them. Thank you again, dude. Yeah, I appreciate it. Well yeah. done. Well done, dude. man. When most people usually think of first responders, they think of a guy in the back of a truck. These Austin Travis Special Op guys, they prove it goes way beyond that. Good looking out, man. Hey, hey you too, man. Good, good job. Those paramedics are the truth. But draw us a little what? We got I, Hey, I'm man. glad we're wearing their shorts <laughs> right now, not mine. Oh, oh my God. Yo, they gonna give us a ride back to our truck? Yeah. I call it like you had better days, though. I think you had that same call. <laughs>